This is Jay on LA, and I'm talking about our general manager for the Department of Neighborhood Empowerment. But really what I'm talking about is, hey, neighborhood council people, wake up. Your independence, your freedom of speech is definitely at risk with this general manager. So let me explain what I'm coming from here. I received a phone call yesterday asking me to stop some of my videos uh, that are, quote, inflammatory about the general manager. And the people who are now running the budget advocates have been asked to talk to me and ask me to stop my videos. And at the same time, they were requested to write an op-ed letter to City Watch refuting the things that myself, Tony Butka, Liz Amsden, and half the neighborhood council people are saying about this general manager. Now this all ties into where we're going with the new code of conduct, where this general manager can determine that anything you say is bad and it's inflammatory and you can be removed. So I feel that this is just the beginning of her attempt to remove a number of us, not to mention maybe just dismantle the entire neighborhood council system through her actions and her inactions. So take this short video as a warning to all neighborhood council people, past, present, and future. This general manager's best option now is to resign and to stop harassing neighborhood council people and certainly to stop her attempt to manipulate the various people to get them on her side to write things on her behalf. And as a side note before I leave, this general manager still has not allowed the budget advocates to pay City Watch because she said City Watch does endorsements. Yet she has the chutzpah to ask our new leadership in budget advocates to write a letter to City Watch refuting the things that are being said about her. Can you believe the balls of this woman? This is Jay on LA.